Hey everyone. So I have to tell y'all, I am so excited. Ooh. Nathan got. <laughs> Simon says, yeah. we have to okay. and I'm at, I told them to. Oh, so Rex's face. <laughs> okay, so Nathan, Jackson, and Logan went and got hay bales for me to do my hay bale garden here, and I am so excited. We have been trying to get to doing this for a couple weeks now. It ended up being a good thing that we waited a little bit because we're going to have a small cold front come through. So it's good things. I probably would have already planted stuff and that wouldn't have been good. So I am so excited. So hay bales is just an easy, quick way to set up a garden. Like you don't have no tools that are needed. Um, all you have to do is treat them and then you are just good to go and plant in. And I did a good bit of price comparison of how to make, just to see what would be the most cost effective. And hay bales honestly was the lesser, op like the cheapest option. <laughs> Look at that strong boy. And then you push it up. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> good job, good job. Catching worms for fishing. Yep. We only caught one. Last time we used sausages to try to catch fish and it didn't work. No, I'm sure that didn't. It fell off a lot. Yeah. Okay, so getting the hay bale set up, I ended up getting 12 hay bales. So I have four rows of three. And from what? Did he throw that over the house? <laughs> so what I have done in the past is I've been able to fit about two plants per hay bale, depending on the plant. I kind of feel like zucchini and squash because they get so big, one per hay bale is better. But I'm primarily doing tomatoes and cucumbers. I think I'll do two for squash or zucchini. You having fun? <laughs> then I rearranged my plants back here to get to the bench. Like we just kind of stuck it all there. Um, but I think it'll, it'll actually look pretty once everything starts filling in. And this is my hydrangea that my grandma gave me that many of y'all told me to dig up and take. And I'm so glad that y'all did because I honestly was just going to leave it because I didn't think it would make it. But I'm so glad that y'all told me that. I'm so excited that it's, I'm pretty sure it's going to make it. Watch, it's going to die. Huh? I said watch, it's going to die. Well, aren't you just a joy? Yeah, There's that died. <laughs> So super easy. All you have to do is treat your hay bales with an all-purpose fertilizer every other day for 10 days and then water it every day. And after the 10th day, you can make a hole and plant your plants that have started. You could even put seeds in it as well, along with a little bit of compost. Hi, Mom! <laughs> Hi, Mom! Hi, Mom! All the boys are matching. They're wearing camo. Yeah. Okay, so Nathan and the kids also set up the trampoline. So it is the next day, y'all. It felt so good to get that stuff done. We have been wanting to get the hay bales. Y'all know we were sick and we've had other stuff going on too. Hay bales just wasn't a huge priority, but I'm happy that we got them, got them set up. Um, and we got the trampoline set up too. That's obviously been on the list since we've moved, but just happy that all that stuff got done. We just had a nice day as a family. You know, it's like so much 
we're coming and doing and taking kids here and there that it's just nice to just stay home as a family. Granted, we still got stuff done, but it was still a relaxing day. So, so far we've gotten school done for today. Um, happy with that. It was, it's a little hard to get started this morning, but we got school done. And then I actually have a fun surprise for the kids today too. Okay, so here is the kids' fun surprise. Look at this. How cute is this? So Peyton helped me get these out of the box and set them up. So this is 11 Easter baskets, y'all. It just, whenever you like, you see one item of 11, of a lot of one item out, it just always, one, it makes my heart so happy. But it's just so cute. So I want to say a huge thank you to Personal Creations for sending us personalized Easter baskets this year. These are absolutely adorable and I am just loving all the detail that is in them and I cannot wait to show it to the kids. I will put a link to personal creations in the description box below, but in their Easter baskets, they actually have various sizes that you can choose from and different types of cloths that would go in the basket. So I'll show you the different ones that they have because I got one of each because I had, you know, a lot of kids <laughs> of different ages too. So for the older kids, I chose just kind of like the basic gingham pattern. And then the girls have their name in pink and the boys have their name in blue. So obviously that is Miley's. And then <laughs> Jackson's is over here so that y'all can see the blue. And then the older girls is the same as Miley's. And then the next style that they had I chose for Reagan and Harper was this cute pattern and their name is in purple and they have a cute little bunny. They also offer Easter basket stuffings, um, different things that you can choose from to put in there. So each kid is getting a cute little bunny. We got Easter grass and jelly beans. And then look at Camden and Kinley's. Just so cute since they are the little ones in the family. They've got several bunnies on the front and their name is just adorable, Kinley and Camden. One of my favorite holidays is Easter. I do really like Christmas. I love celebrating with our family, but Easter is just so special because we're celebrating our risen savior. And one of the things that I also really like to do is to decorate for Easter. And obviously y'all know that we aren't doing that this year just because we moved in and you know things are just a little bit different so i'm excited that the kids will have this just to make this easter a little special i can't wait to show the kids these easter baskets i know that they are gonna love them i love personalized things especially with having a large family but it is just ridiculously cute but this way we will know whose easter basket is whose from here on out I also have a coupon code for you guys. I will put it up here on the screen. So if you want to get a personalized Easter basket this year, use this coupon code and you can get 40% off. So I'm gonna go get the kids and surprise them with an early Easter gift. And then we are actually gonna take them outside and do an Easter egg hunt as well. Come in. Yep, come in. Wow. Wow. Is this Wait, nice? you, yep, you gotta find your name. Yeah. Yeah, do you see your name? Yeah. He got the little bunny. Show him his basket. Yep. Isn't that cute? Yeah, Harper. Yeah, you gotta find your name. Harper, look at the bunny. That's so sweet. Let me see your basket, Kenny. You got jelly beans? Look! Yep, look at the basket. Can you hold it? Mom, 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 I got a baby papa. No, I got one too. Mom, can you like it? You like your name? Huh? Okay, so now we're gonna go in the backyard and we're gonna do an Easter egg hunt. Ready? On your mark, get set, go! <laughs> I lose my breath whenever I see you You stole my heart, what is it that you do? My life was great till you added color
So, Kinley and Camden actually got into the chore chart, messed it all up, and Drew's been setting it back up. Aren't you so sweet? Oh, Camden's trying to get. To the, what are you doing on the table, boy? Okay. Thank you for helping, Drew. Drew. I messed up. You messed it up. No, it looks good. You gonna redo it? This has been keeping him busy too. You like doing the magnets? Yeah. Yeah. You're doing a good job. Mom, that was not my name. Nope, that is not your name. <laughs> this time change is still really messing with me. I am. It's like I don't know if I'm hungry or if I want a nap. Like I don't know what <laughs> which way's up, which way's down at this point. I'm just like, it's five o'clock. Maybe I'm just hungry. It's getting to be dinner time, but just the whole time change. It's like it takes two weeks to adjust and it's just, no, my girls are out there reading. That's so sweet. The older girls, it's a little chilly today. But they are wrapped up in blankets sitting outside reading. Yes, they are. You want to go read? No. I told y'all it was five o'clock. It's not, it's four o'clock, but it's really three o'clock. It feels like three o'clock. Anyways, I told y'all this time change is messing with me, y'all. But I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Be sure to check out Personal Creations if y'all are looking for some personalized gifts. And I will have that coupon code down below and y'all can get 40% off if you use that. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us and we'll see y'all in the next video.